What's going on guys, Technology for All here, and today I have a very special unboxing. The unboxing of the Ryzen 1700 from AMD. I was going to get the 1700X at first, but I did some quick research and looked at some benchmarks and reviews that some people have already been doing ever since this uh, came out and the NDA was uh, removed. And a lot of people have been getting luck with the 1700 being able to overclock to about 4 gigahertz or so, which basically makes it just as good as the mid-range or even the high, the highest uh, processor available, the 1800X. So I just thought to myself, instead of getting the 1700X, I would just get the 1700 and hope that I would get a, um, a really good processor, you know, the Silicon Lottery, where I'd get a really good processor that would let me um, overclock it pretty well. So, that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing because I'm so excited and I also have another, a couple of unboxings I still have to do like the motherboard and the case. And then I also have to assemble it, which I'm also gonna record. So I'm just gonna try and make these unboxing videos kinda uh, short and to the point. So yeah. So this is the front of the box, it says Ryzen. It's engraved, it feels pretty nice, it says AMD 7. On the right, we got the processor itself, it says Ryzen. It's pretty cool actually, I really like that. Got some details on the back. So this box includes the processor and the uh, heat sink which is right over here actually it's pretty cool the RAF heat sink I think is what it's called so yeah let me go ahead and uh, open this up I'm really excited guys like you guys have no idea I might not sound like it right now because I'm really tired I woke up at 5 a.m. and I couldn't go back to sleep because Micro Center opened really early today. They opened at 7 a.m. And I wanted to get there uh, as quick as possible. I mean, there was no line or anything. It was actually pretty quiet. It wasn't really, like, busy at all. So I kind of went early for, early for no reason. But I just wanted to go just in case. And I was also super excited and hyped up. So, yeah. I don't know why this doesn't want to open. One second. I don't want to ruin the box. go so here you have the processor itself and the sticker really like that sticker by the way and then here we have the heat sink which apparently is pretty good which I'm surprised about so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out So there we go. This is the heatsink itself. Um, you got some barrel paste on the bottom. And you also got, finally, screws. <laughs> Thank God, because I really hated AMD's little um, lever thing. So I'm really happy to see that there's a screw solution. I'm gonna be using this for a couple of days simply because I need to get a uh, AM4 bracket for my thermal tape water cooler. So I'm gonna be using this for a bit. Um, and apparently it's pretty good too, so I'm actually kind of excited. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this something for like the RGB stuff? I didn't even notice that until I was about to pick this up. That's really strange. Hold on, does this actually have... Oh, it does! I'm so stupid. Look, right there, the little, I guess you can call it white line. I guess those are where the LEDs are at? I'm assuming because I swear I thought I saw a um, another heat sink that had two wires coming out like this one and some other one I thought that other one was like a a uh, RGB thing I don't know that was weird so I guess this does have RGB so that's the heat sink let me go ahead and just put this thing back like that move that over bring out the processor and the sticker so anyway thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it gonna go on and and uh, unbox the motherboard next and uh, the case and maybe the uh, NVMe SSD that I got and the RAM together or something. Uh, I'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned for my other videos and I'll see you guys next time. Later.